Hello and welcome to episode 20 of our Abdel Ludum campaign. In the last episode, we blasted through a lot of the new missions that we unlocked. I think we got through almost all of them, if I recall correctly. There's just a couple of them up here that are going to require some time, some which require money, this which requires some mercantilism, this which requires an army reformer, and now that I'm saying all these out loud, it seems that I can actually complete a lot of these pretty easily. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to let some time pass here. Get a little bit of money, make sure we can hire the right guys. The mercantilism one, though... I think we can just do immediately are we behind on tech no we're not behind on tech so i think we are good to do that now, i don't want to promote it too much because right i was saving up actually we're not going to i was saving up to get the nationalism cb so i can go to war with the jad empire so i think we'll hold off on that uh but as for the other ones army reformer at least is skill level two army organizer i need a reformer so fire all of them you're all fired sorry my bad <laughs> And let's let a little bit of time pass. Now, I also want to actually let me pause. We need to call back all of my diplomats because I need to be improving with some specific countries here. So, Silver Forge, I need to improve relations with. Moonhaven, I need to improve relations with. Let's focus on them. Improve relations. Improve relations. I also need BPEC, I believe, who I instantly want to go ahead and claim a guarantee on them. I don't want this Mega Laurent to go and annex them. I need them alive. Let me do that first. Okay, and then we will start to improve relations with them. Then I need three humans, I believe. Three human nations in Western Kanor that have opinion of me of at least 100. And then they need an opinion of uh, sent gift, which I can do later on. Let's go ahead and... Oh my god. Yep. Yep. You're definitely the one. I would like to ally you. Didn't realize they had 126,000 troops, despite the fact they're this small. Magic Dream is 113. Guess we're going to have to improve relations with Wex. Ugh, disgusting. But we have to do what we have to do. Look at that Magisterium. That is massive. And yet, Istralor has more, because they're the Emperor, obviously, but still. Alright, let's go with uh, Telgir. Yeah, because Laurent hates me. Yeah, let's improve relations with Telgir as well. That should get everybody nice and happy. Got some people I need to ally. All will be good there, though. So I do have too many Diplo relations. Uh, too much military access. I'm guaranteeing people. I have alliances. Just kind of the way it is. Not really much I can do to change that at the moment. Uh, Silver Forge is at the point where I could ally them, so let's do that. Yep, we're going to be way over our relation limit here. But let's... Just the, that's just the way it is. We're going to deal with it. Uh, upgrade the Dwarvar Rail. Sure. We need to take Admin Tech early. You know what? We'll do it. Go ahead and give me some more Dev Efficiency and some more Admin Efficiency. We have fully improved with Wex. So... Actually, hold on. Keep improving relations there. Until I'm ready to uh, send all the gifts out to the humans. And that sounds good to me. Orko Kozanad, they can take care of their own war. Not my issue. Not my problem. And what do you need? I need 150 military power for that. So let's let's save up. Uh, Feather Frenzy, we've already had this event before. Essentially, we're just going to pay money for people to clean up the Harpy Feathers. Army Organizer, Army Reformer. You are an orc, which is kind of cringe. Did I pick the wrong one? I see some more military power. Okay. That's fine. Give me the mill power, and it will be good. Man, I was really hoping that was going to be real power. Uh, okay, there we go. Mission fulfilled. Let's master our chilling. Let's do this one first. That way I can get my really good advisor back. Government corruption? I'll take the inflation. I can afford it. Maintain that. Okay. Uh, are we there yet? Almost there. A couple more months, and then we will be able to complete a couple of missions, which will be nice. There we go. Maintain. Yeah, yeah. We'll deal with all of that in a moment. So, Mountain Tactics. We have 200 mil power, an army reformer of at least 3, and 50% professionalism. And Galkalis has at least 50% uh, manpower. So place one of our dwarf warriors in the cool darkness of the underground, and they can tell you how to best defend a hold as opposed to a segment of the rails or a cavern encampment. Place them on the surface, on a mountainside or desert hilltop, and it is a different matter altogether. We have very little practice finding the heat and uneven terrain of Wolwar and the surface in general. Let us organize exercises with our Gelkali allies, who are masters of such warfare locals as the mountains around the Serpent's Reach. With their help, we will not only be able to better defend our own borders, but aid our friends in Bolar as well. 
So until the end of the game, we gain survival training, which gives us minus 25% land attrition, which is super nice. That's really nice. And let's get our discipline advisor back in here. That's Telgier at 95. So I need to go ahead and send money to Wex, Istralor, and Telgier. Okay. Economy. Send gift. We're going to have to send them a lot of money. Sure. And then you need a lot of money as well. Epec, are you willing to ally me now? That's nuts that you're not willing to ally me. We'll admit. We'll admit. I also need to pay off all of my loans. Okay, so we have to make some money here. And in order to do that, we're just going to stop paying for our troops right now. That'll make us, that'll make us a lot of money. Uh, I told you. I need to send you money. Send gift. Gotta be at least 10. So I'm just going to go a little bit over just to make sure. And this one's going to be the rough one. Yeah, we're going to send them quite a bit of money here. There we go. But that should complete bickering humans. So us dwarves have a reputation for being contentious. Maybe there's some truth in that, but at least we have the sense to keep our disagreements personal. The way these humans are constantly at each other's throats over religion, over titles, over meaningless rivalries between their legions from generations ago, they can stand to learn a lesson or two about getting along. Ogrim Stonebreaker up to Ludum's diplomat to the Dove Throne. I agree. And we get holding hands for 20 years, plus 20% improved relations, and human events will be more common. So now I need the province owner of Sworn Cell to like me a lot. Uh, and I need to have money. Fair enough. Wine for the festivals, whoever owns Rinmund. I need them to like me a lot. And I need to develop my farm estates up. Okay. We can work on that. Ardenese Lace, that would be Ardenin as well. That's going to require some development in Ranger's Post. Okay. And I need to be Guaranteeing. Then in City of Criers, that would be Tellum was also owned by Arnon. So I just need to improve with Seliande and with Arnon for all of these. And do a little bit of internal development. Well, we can work on that. We can definitely work on that. Now here, I need Bipek. Oh, and I need Gibbard. And their trust has to be at least 60. Oh. The Magisterium owns Gibbard. That, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Uh, I was hoping to ally the Emperor here. Um, if they won't even accept an alliance, which is kind of whack to me, considering that I'm pretty strong. You know, it's not like I'm weak, but okay. Uh, Moonhaven, hello. I can, I have to influence you, I believe. So let's just start improving the Magisterium. We'll do that. Cave Collapse, that's sad, but oh well. BPEC, yeah, you're guaranteed by me, so that's good. Upgrade the rails some more. Alright, we just need to make money. That's what it comes down to at this point in time. And of course... Waiting for the war against the Jad, which uh, will be happening as soon as we get nationalism. Yeah, they wouldn't. They've taken all of that now. There it is. There's the nationalism I was talking about. We have a lot of provinces that we could take off these guys. Oh, but Abdul Kanzad would join. Okay. Not that's a problem. I mean, Abdul Kanzad isn't like, strong, but they would join against their dwarven brethren, which is kind of cringe. We could also just go after Skewer Drake first, which is probably a semi-decent idea. To grab all of this. Let's uh let's do that. Let's go after Skewer Drake. Raise the troops, raise the maintenance, bring them down into this region. Uh bring this 51k also down into this region. Because we're going to be uh going in Siren Bar and stuff and against Jad, and they'll defend my other borders, I hope. I need to be at peace to revoke land. Can we can we get some peace? Nope. Work for Coastad, what are you doing? Where are all your troops? You have 76,000 troops. Wait, where are they? I don't see them. You're not? Okay, there they are. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, let's see. What has been completed? Ah, Masters of Artillery. With that, I can do. So, the artillery of the Copper Dwarves is craftsmanship of the highest quality. Sorry, crafts dwarf ship. My bad. Not craftsman, crafts dwarf ship. Of the highest quality, and the minds of some have even surpassing the skill of the cannon hold itself. Abdo can can said. Whatever the reality is, they make very good cannons and they are very close to us, unlike the Lords of Amber. Let us outsource some of our cannon production and we can acquire us some of the Copper Dwarfs' finest guns. We get cannons, the Copper Dwarfs get gold, and our enemies will get Dwarven delivered death and a hail of cannon fire. 
<laughs> very loving, very loving. And we get plus 10% artillery damage from back row from the Guns of Passion modifier. All right, cool. Just waiting on that mercantilism. Well, that just lowers my trade power till the end of the game. What? Why would I click this button? There's got to be a good reason to click this button, because it really seems like... Oh no, Abdel Tunker gets this until the end of the game. Never mind, I probably do want to do that immediately. Even though it is going to cost the Diplo points. Uh, Primal Instinct. Harpy Kind has a long, rough road to being seen as equals in the eyes of the civilized races of the world. For ages, their way of life has revolved around kidnapping human and, later, elven males to mate with, as a child of a male of any species and a harpy results in another harpy. With the opening of Abdel Lenham, harpies often make their way here in order to make use of the unique services of our hold. Oftentimes, arrangements are made that... That is that. Occasionally, however, there are individuals who have a more savage bent through no fault of their own. This is one of those occasions. A harpy belonging to an influential clan related to the rulers of Harpyland has recently been harassing a prominent dwarven individual, attempting to bribe and now outright kidnap the individual in question. The harpy's position in her home society means that outright throwing her out might make some problems. A discreet solution will likely be a headache on our end. This requires a del delicate touch for a small tolerance decrease of harpies, or... Usually, in this case, it's too far. Um, no, usually in this case, it's too far. Yeah, come on. You gotta be chill, okay? You gotta be chill. That's just it. No ifs, ands, or buts about that one. All right, Skewer Drake. I'm gonna go ahead and declare an Imperialism War. Uh, I'm going to assume all their troops are in this cave right here. I don't see them anywhere else. Yep, there they are. Can I catch them in time? Yep. And they're gone. Goodbye. Okay, extend those. Am I really not going to stack wipe them? I know I was attacking to a cave, but like, come on. We're very clearly able to stack wipe them. Like, we should be able to. You're crazy, game. You're crazy. Ooh, all power costs? Yes, please. Go ahead and put him in charge. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on, game. Don't do this. Thank you. Eh, I, I get it. You know, the combat changes can be rough, but when I have... You know, 35,000 really strong dwarves against a couple of orcs. I don't see how they're supposed to make it. Uh, they did it to themselves. It's fine. That's 100% war score. All right, let's clean up our borders here a little bit, yeah? I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. <laughs> oh, annexation. Give me all your money. Get rid of your cores on me, please. Thank you very, very much. Alright, core it all up, and let's get these troops on the Hodovar, and let's get ready for the war against Jed. Not going to be letting that go past here. Uh, we have a 634. I would rather get another mill point, to be honest with you, so now a 635. Really, really nice. I'll go ahead and upgrade the Dwarvar rails as well. Uh, okay, so for do the Gizden one for a city of... No. It's for this, right? I need trust of at least 60. How am I supposed to do that game? You're essentially telling me that I have to ally them. And they're not... They're not too interested in that. Um, I don't know what to do about that. Wonderful insult. Maybe they flip friendly or something. I don't... I don't understand. Army strength is are currently plus 12. You can't technically get that up higher. Can get that up higher. You can go up to plus 20, so I guess we just build more troops. I don't really see another way. So create a template. Build me up 30, 30 stack. It's our 60,000 troops. I need money. Okay. Soft rock. More dev cost reductions. Very nice. Let's build them up in our capital. And it is time for... Wait, are you telling me... Are you telling me that this is not a fully completed colony? What? What are they doing? Literally, what are they doing? Again, ignore that. That didn't happen, okay? Just like the last time, you guys did great. Only a couple people brought up, didn't happen. Okay, just, just ignore it. Okay, we got level 6 forts here. Jad is currently looking like they have 212,000 troops. Only I to one people. Nationalism for second year. Where are you, second year? Deck rod? No. Wait, what? What is this? Oh man, it's goblin. That's dumb. 
Okay, never mind. Then we're going to go for... Mm, I forgot what it's called. The Vorko Gulan, that's what it's called. Of the Tungur. Yelkalis. Siren Varg. Vorko Kozan wants me to guarantee... What? what? Why does Vorko Kozan want me to guarantee them land? How would I give... them land? They don't have a border with each other. Wait, what? Hold on. Because you want things down here? That's weird. That's weird. I don't... Okay. Cool. I guess I don't... Okay. Sure. That's just a weird little thing games do in there. Call my allies. Let's do it. Okay. These 68,000 need to make sure they are pushing in on that front. While these troops... I'm going to be pushing in here. You're going to go there. You're going to go here. I would like to try and secure off as much of the Dwarvar as I can. Again, it's... Uh oh That's not going to go well for me. Yeah. Back up. Back up. Didn't realize that they would have so many troops in the mountains already. Okay. So, the goal is... I just want everything that the Jad owns in this part of the Serpent's Mine. That's it. That's, that's all I want. Not much. I'm not being greedy. I'm just asking for some things. Just a couple of things. Just a little bit. Some things. Yep, just some. Only 83% war score. Honestly, they're the ones that are being cringe and greedy by not just giving me that immediately. It's not that big of a deal that I asked for this. I don't think it is. Do you think it is? I don't. I think it's Rifle Dwarven Clay, and therefore it should be mine. Now, I don't think they're going to necessarily agree with that might be hard pressed to find the jad person in the jad government that says oh yeah we should just give away all this land but all i'm saying is okay all i'm saying is elves don't belong in the mountains they, do, they don't they don't belong in the mountains that is that is empirical evidence right there, there uh, now i didn't show you any evidence but trust me it's there i'm looking at it right now it says empirical evidence elves do not belong in the mountains and it'd be crazy if you thought anything else. Bulwar, you want to join this war. You know what? Let's go, buddy. Jo join the war. Why not? You are very close. What other war? Oh, you're still fighting a rail schooler? Oh, I thought that war just ended. Well, Vroko Kozan, I would love to call you into this war. I'm just saying, I would really love to call you into this war. You do pretty well for us. Yep, go ahead and upgrade the rails as well. Of course, we can't forget about this. I have to convince people to ally me. Um, or I have to, like, influence them up to 60 trust, which means I have to influence them twice. And can I even influence you? Technically, yes, but that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. 2,000 crowns to influence someone is kind of insane. Okay, I won't lie. It's a little bit nuts. That is asking a lot from one guy. that That's a lot. Also, why why am I doing this? Why am I not just going and finding him on the fort here? Uh, can I just like walk down here and around? Yes. I sure can. Oh, they're dead. Uh, yeah, have, have fun with that. No way I lose this. Okay, good. I was like, you're insane. You're literally insane if I lose this. There we go, just stack by 10,000 of them, real nice and easy. <clears throat> uh, let's push down here, take out these troops. Carnal Desires, I... Okay, let me read this. Uh, a visiting group of Bulwari merchants, adventurers, and other individuals of means have been visiting Abdaladam as of late. There's usually no concern since a week of excess, visiting parties move on. Right, these are the people that are overstaying their welcome. That's their whole deal. The customer is always right, so for some prestige loss, they'll give me money. And I... I need money, so, sure. No, 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 Magic Jerem, you don't want to do this. You don't want to be annexing people. You don't, you don't, you don't. I mean, like, technically, it would make my life easier in some ways. Maybe I do want them man. Hold on. <laughs> Are we the baddies? <laughs> Am I going to encourage people to be annexed? As for you, we can go down and take these forts ourselves. Will not be a big problem. Yeah, and this is the benefit of calling in my allies, is they'll just take care of all the land behind me. Meanwhile, I can just deal with the stuff in here. Goblin refugees, sure, let them in. 
Why did I lose this? Oh, right. Someone had spied on them and got us the vision. I was a little confused why I could see it, but then I was more concerned that I lost this nice thing that I had. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I want that back. Give that back. Okay, you're going to go up here. You're going to take that. Good. You are sieging this down. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Decadence comes with age. We lose stability. Well, that is big sad. Let's go ahead and finish off quality ideas as well. Uh, lock in the discipline and the... Probably artillery combat ability is more important than the infantry combat ability for us. Classic dwarf. Classic dwarf things. National tax. That's the diplo rep. Uh, honestly, I would like the diplo rep right now. Yeah, because I, I want the magisterium to flip friendly with me so I can ally them. They're currently at minus 11. Minus 11. I'm going to leave it 60k behind just in case goblins pop up or they somehow find a way behind me. That way I can deal with that issue if it does end up arising. Though I would like it to not arise. I don't I don't want that to happen. It would be very sad. Did I just move them all to the same place? No. You walk down through here into there. Yes. There we go. And now I should be able to call in Corporal Kozadat against Jad as well. Yes. <laughs> you're going to learn your lessons, Jad. You're going to learn it and you're going to like it. Because either way, you are going down. <laughs> This is not going to be a good day for the Jad. Oh, and here comes the other people with a defender of the Ayuvebe. Avahu. Avhavu. I know that sometimes it might seem like I'm doing a bit here when I can't pronounce it. I am trying my best. They call him Buvari. Yeah, they called him Buvari. So we are eliminating the Jad. I was going to say something else, but then I realized that it could be taken out of context. It would sound really weird. And I was like, no, I shouldn't do that. So instead, I'm just going to say we're taking him out. All right. That's what we're doing. Uh, sure, go ahead and influence Abdul Tungur some more. Make them our, our friends. We like them. Also, make sure that I promote mercantilism, because that's just so important. What what would life be without boosting mercantilism? Really, I couldn't imagine a game like that. Maybe? I don't know. It's weird. I don't like boosting mercantilism. I always feel bad about it. It's like, is it really worth it? No, the answer is no. It's not. Unless you really, really need just that tiniest bit of trade power for something. But even then, developing your provinces is still probably just better. It's just better overall in every way. You get more money, way more money than you would by uh, boosting your mechanicalism up. But oh well. Okay, we're going to send you to these provinces. Wonderful. Put you in half, move you in here. And there we go. Now they do own the Jad's capital, which is not great. I'll give you that. A lot of lost war score for us. Uh, Abdul Kantad, your capital is occupied. Thank you for piecing out with me. I appreciate it. On the siege of the Salahad Gate. This is just Highlands, right? Yep. Just Highlands. Go ahead and throw that person in charge. Uh, go ahead and force march into these Highlands to fight them. And bye, Jad. Bye. Yep. Say goodbye to those troops. Hey, where are those other 24,000 troops going? Oh, there they are. You think I'm scared to attack you in the mountains? You'd be correct, but not... I'm too dumb to not do it. I guess is my point there. Uh, Ferroni's a factory. That's... Yeah, that's a lost cause. Sorry, Estates. It's just... That's not gonna happen in time. My bad. My bad. Okay, we're at 78%. They will accept the peace deal. Where we get all of this stuff. Now, is there anything else I would like from this peace deal? I could take money. Would rather not take money, though. Uh, hey, what do you want? You want some of this stuff. Okay. Well, let's let's give it to you. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. Give me war reps. Punk. Because, yeah, you're an elf and you went into the wood. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll just continue to let your country die. How about that, huh? You like that more? You just want me to let your country die even harder? Or because you don't want to give me war reps? Is that worth it to you? Is it worth it? Was it worth it? I hope it was all worth it because these troops are not going home. Here we go. Remember, you made that decision. You made me do it. You made me do it. I'm just saying. You made me do it. I think he's fully given up as well. So I can even... Oh, that's too much worse. Alright, give me some money then. 
and let's go ahead and out all that for 83 aggressive expansion not too shabby not too shabby let's go ahead and core all that up okay so all these troops are moving back you move out to segdir of course that's the most important place to not let rebels pop up because it is a hold you're going to walk home perfect okay they can even start restoring holds i would i can't do that though because i'm coring it game you're lying to me am i dumb can you do that i'm pretty sure you can't i'm pretty sure i just wasted all that money i'm i'm very confident i just wasted all that money but it was worth a shot right i did it for the adventure for the experience magisterium why will you not ally me neutral attitude my navy strength again i don't have a navy at all you can't be mad at my navy strength because i simply do not have a navy at all there's no navy to be mad about there just isn't i don't know how to make you more happy with a navy that does not exist it just straight up doesn't exist hey moonhaven would you like an alliance you would because you're smart you're like, oh yeah, hey, there's this huge nation that wants to ally me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should definitely do that. We should absolutely lock that in. Sure. I will help you in this war. That breaks my alliance with Eliza, which honestly is not the end of the world. Kind of good, actually. I no longer needed that alliance. Same thing with Bulwar. I don't actually care if you live or not. I'm sorry. I know that I... This is the worst timeline. This is the worst time. Are you telling me that the first time in my... Let me, let me check. Let me pull this up. I want you to see here. 3,159 hours. The first time I see the AI declare a humiliation war is when I need my friends to... I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done for today. I, I'll, be, I'll be back to the next episode. I, my brain, dude. I've never seen them declare a humiliation war. This is ridiculous. Uh, I'm I'm probably gonna console command it out. I'm probably just gonna console command back and force them to white peace. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe that they actually did this. My mind is blown. Humili a humiliation war. The AI declared a humiliation. You know what? I hope that you all have a fantastic day. A way better day than I am now having. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I I hope to see you in the next one.